great falling away will come first. The Antichrist will come second. Then the rapture will be taught. First thing is a falling away. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know why all these rise of false pastors, false prophets, and fake believers everywhere, that's what is going on now. Is the prayer route to the rise of the beast. Because when the beast come, people have to agree with him, especially Christians. He is not going to gain global power without their support. There has to be pastors, there has to be popes and bishops that must give him the backing. Without that, it is not going to happen preserve the knowledge of christ this is the time get to know him for yourself and get if you have not gone through discipleship or not this is the time days are coming you'll be looking for church you can't have this opportunity again the way the church will exit is the way israel exited egypt they were in egypt when all the plagues you know all those ten plagues even till the last one but god protected them in the midst of it all and after all of that god removed these people out of egypt and sent them to the promised land that's how it's going to happen again now that we have the time my friends rise up now and begin to preach the gospel now we still have the time days are coming you, you can't you can't hold service you can't now you can do crusades rise up and do it now you can plant church rise up and plant it now you can start a cell start doing it better make sure that your life counts now that it's still free you still have the freedom you must learn to practice god's presence those days are coming we've been taking pastors for granted church service for granted hey 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 You're going to have to be your own pastor. You're going to have to pastor your children. Let me talk to us today. Every one of you should go and study the Chinese church. What happened during the communist era? Christianity. There were about 800,000 Christians when the communist revolution. Chairman Mao led the communist revolution. And there were 10,000 missionaries. They were all sent out of China. All the pastors were arrested. Somebody like uh, Watchman Ni stayed and died in prison one of the most prominent chinese preachers of that time they sacked all the missionaries arrested all the pastors seized all the church buildings not a single church building was left stopped any form of broadcast on tv or on any form of technology and then started hunting bibles he didn't want any bible of any type in the whole of china the western missionaries from america from britain all cried they were praying for China. they said the church because a young church you will die who told the church does not die because of persecution i said fire does not destroy gold you only purify it when china finally opened up to the world again after 30 years you know what they found that less than 1 million believers 800,000 has grown to about 150 million now go 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 what i'm saying the christians i mean evangelical born again christians in china are more than all the people in the communist party the communist party has about 90 million people the church grew when he went on the ground the church grew when they remove all the pastors the church grew when they remove all the church building the church grew when they stopped crusade the church grew when they stopped uh, preaching on tv the church grew when they removed of course what the missionaries now the western churches did is to make sure they found a way to smuggle bible and they caught some of the smugglers now watch when communism fell they found out that the church that was not up to one million eight hundred and something has grown to over 150 million what happened it was when believers discovered that we are all ministers we are all priests every family becomes church and that's when it includes so if you're talking about great tribulation the chinese people have experienced it the early church has experienced it. christians are experiencing it in the middle east one of the fastest growing church now is happening in iran one of the strategies for the end time church going forward is to return back to discipleship and to return back to small groups and all of you that are listening to me start your own cell that is the way forward these large congregations and worship services this thing has shaken it up now 
this lockdown something more serious is on the horizon make sure you are a functional priest that you know god start reading your bible people don't study their bible anymore they only come on sunday open their mouth for pastors to feed them now when the pastor is saying something wrong you can't tell what will happen he said test i'm reading it this amplified bible to refine to purify and to make those among god's people white even to the time of the end because he's here for an appointed time so apart from the separation to remove false believers is also to prepare us for the rapture and that's why i tell if you remain a lukewarm christian what will wake you up is coming you better not wait for that now we have the time let's take advantage of it to reach the world for christ to reach our communities to reach our cities to make sure that our family members are in the ark before the flood starts to make sure that we reach everybody now we have technology the freedom to do everything let's utilize it now we have the chance let's live for god and live for christ and be completely sold out to him